Looks like NASA is hoping for a very big Christmas present. They are planning to launch the world's biggest, most powerful space telescope on Christmas Day. This Saturday, the $10 billion telescope will replace the aging Hubble Space Telescope, which is now more than 30 years old. Aging? Well, then I'm way old by telescope standards then. Uh, joining us this morning to talk about the big launch, we've got Stephanie Milam, planetary scientist. Good morning, Stephanie. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing great. I have been waiting for you guys to launch this telescope for a very long time. Not as long as you, I am certain. So walk me through. First of all, you're launching from French Guyana. Why wouldn't you just launch from the Cape? Uh, that's a great question. Uh, we are actually a joint partnership with this mission from with NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency. And a contribution, a major contribution from the European Space Agency was actually our launch vehicle on an Ariane 5. And so, that is where their launch site is. Okay, so that's going to happen on Christmas Day. How long is the process going to take? before this James Webb telescope is ready to bring us images? Well, we have a long journey. Uh, we have a whole month to get a million miles away and to unfold our telescope. We have a, to fully deploy everything and get to the second Lagrange point. So as I said, a million miles away. We then have to turn all of our instruments on and test everything and make sure the mirrors are aligned and everything's in focus. and. It's going to be probably about five months worth of commissioning time. So expect to see the first images from the James Webb Space Telescope around next summer, six months after launch. Six months. And it, we've been sitting here <laughs> talking Hubble, 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 Hubble for what seems like forever. Now, Hubble, if I'm correct, and you can you know correct me if I'm wrong, that orbits the Earth. Is the James Webb Telescope, isn't that going to orbit the sun or the whole elliptical yeah. pattern there? Yes, exactly. So Hubble is in Earth orbit. Uh, the James Webb Space Telescope is actually going to be, as I said, a million miles away from us in the second Lagrange point. So that's a Sun-Earth gravity stable point. Um, it's a nice cool area that we don't have to worry about thermal radiation from the Earth, the Moon, or the Sun. Um, and we can keep our telescope always pointed away from the Sun on the opposite side of that huge Sun shield. And yes, it will be orbiting the sun with the Earth. So we'll be sort of following the Earth around the sun. And just the fact that it's a much farther away and it's much more powerful. What are you looking forward to most seeing from the James Webb Telescope once it gets up and running? Um, as a planetary scientist, my my biggest excitement so far, uh, even though there's things yet to be discovered, um, is to, to do some studies of ocean worlds in our solar system. So there are bodies that we believe have huge oceans underneath the surface. So for example, the, the moon of Jupiter called Europa, um, it's been shown to have these sort of plumes of gas coming out of it every once in a while. And we know it has a very icy surface and we believe that it has um, an ocean underneath that thick ice layer. So what we hope to do with James Webb is actually study these plumes and see whether or not it is actually something ocean-like um, yeah. with respect to what we know and um, see whether or not it may have a chance or opportunity uh, for habitability. That's what I was going to ask you. And we're actually out of time, unfortunately, because I could ask you a thousand questions. Our Good Day <laughs> show runs till 10. You and I could talk the whole time. Uh, but will this finally put to rest, you know, the, the notion that there are habitable planets out there or not with this stronger telescope? We've got like, a few seconds left. Um, we'll be looking to see whether or not there are planets with atmospheres that look like Earth's or any other in the solar system. Um, we're not going to be looking for life itself, but mostly just looking for those peculiarities in those atmospheres to, to do some further studies with other facilities. I look forward to talking to you folks in six months once we get this up and running and see what kind of cool stuff we're seeing out there. Um, best of luck on the launch. Thank you for joining us early on this uh, Thursday morning, okay? Appreciate it.